Hey there everybody and welcome back to Let's Play No More Heroes 2 Desperate Struggle. We're about to take on the next ranked assassin and Suda51 have done a great job. An annoying level, an annoying ranked assassin. Marry right now as we're about to take him on. But first, a lovely cutscene. have here a young lady you know it's dangerous coming to a place like this alone you ought to be more careful seriously terrible things can happen I see it on the news all the time <laughs> maybe that's why she came it's what she wants two grown men to keep her company <laughs> horny slut my master's got his hands full so I'm taking his place not that it matters. The result's gonna be the same. I don't have time for this. You're taking Travis's place? Wow. I gotta say, I'm feeling pretty disrespected. Just shut up and fight. Oh, listen to this whore. Acting like she's some kind of femme fatale. Shut up and fight, she says. She's really pissing me off. Seriously. And she's so rude. Reminds me of my complaining customers. Now, Travis, he knew how to fight like a gentleman. Sliced me in half, sure, but... He did it with grace. I mean, come on. Put her there. Huh? You know, let's shake hands. Sportsmanship is paramount to a fair and clean fight. <sighs> Hurry up and shake! Dirty nympho. <laughs> Whatever. But which one? It doesn't matter. Your choice. The one that's throbbing. <laughs> Destroy Spark. What the? What? Ah! Was this supposed to spark? Wait. Ah! Filthy skank! Yeah, that wasn't smart. I'll be sure Travis gets your head in the mail! Enough with your freak show. Now bring it. We're gonna, gonna kill, kill you twice, twice over. over! No. No. No! Oh, no! No! Destroy my times two! Oh god! <laughs> Meet new Destroy Man! In the first No More Heroes game, Travis Touchdown cut Destroy Man right down the middle of, well, of Destroy Man. And as you can see, there's now two of them. So they've taken half of Destroy Man and the other half of Destroy Man and fused them both with kind of halves of this metal robot. And now we have two Destroy Man. Oh god, I'm not happy. Destroy Man gave me so many problems in the first game, and this is just another annoying fight. Here's how the fight works. You will take on Destroy Man on the ground. I'll call him Destroy Man 1, but you'll also be taking on Destroy Man in the rafters as well. He'll be called Destroy Man 2. Now Destroy Man 1 will be using all of these melee attacks. He will always be on your ass doing punches and drop kicks, furiously doing them. And all you're going to do is you've got to get him down to at least one square health. That's the strategy I'm going to be using. I'll explain more about that later. Meanwhile, whilst you're trying to take on Destroy Man 1, Destroy Man 2 is up in the rafters chilling out with his martini, listening to a bit of, uh, I don't know, a bit of smooth jazz, whilst he shoots you with his eyes. Thankfully, in this game, he's not using his crotch to fire lasers, but still, he's got this destroy beam, he's got this destroy bomb thing, which is kind of like a sphere, a light blue sphere, which travels at you. There it is, there's right now. That, that travels you and it homes in on you and it will follow you to the edge of time until it destroys you. It is not good. I hate this fight because the guy in the rafters, Destroy Man 2, does not give up. He will keep firing at you and you really need to be aware because this guy, if, you, if you're not aware of, De of Destroy Man 2, he will shoot you all the time. But then again, if you're not aware of Destroy Man 1, he will kick your ass. It's such a wonderful idea for a fight. Fighting two on one, it's amazing. However, it's so difficult. Now, why am I running against this wall? I'm being sucked in. I'm being sucked into a vortex attack. Sometimes you will see both of them fire lasers together. And where the lasers unite, it will create a kind of a vortex, a black hole sucking, you know, sucking us in. And what you're going to do is you've got to run away. But along with that, you need to hide behind something. If you're not hiding behind anything, 
you will lose quite a bit of damage. As you can see, I'm on half health already, and that's not great. It won you fighting this guy in the bottom, by the way. Watch out for Destroy Spark. Watch out for a swooping attack as well. When he goes up into the air, you need to watch out, because he will swoop down on you, and he will kick your ass. But if, no, he's doing it again. You may see it here. You may see it here. Yeah, there it is. He's trying to suck me in. And you've got to try and hide. Now, thankfully, I, I hid behind this little corner, even though it's not quite hiding. So I took no damage whatsoever. But with one slash here, he's actually almost dead. So this is my strategy from now on. Destroy man number one on the ground is on one health. When destroy man one dies... The other Destroy Man, Destroy Man number two, will try to resurrect him. That's right, it can be a continuous fight because they can constantly resurrect themselves. Now, if you're fighting on the ground at this point, Destroy Man number two, the one in the rafters, will keep flying around on the rafters and it will take you forever to kill him. He will very rarely go on the ground to revive his good body. However, if you, if you kill Destroy Man number one, the one on the ground, on the rafters, he will visit Destroy Man number one to revive him much more frequently. That means you can get more attacks in and that means that the fight will be a lot quicker. Also, it allows you to dodge uh, a lot of attacks. For some reason, the, um, the destroy bomb, as I'm going to call it, the blue sphere, doesn't hit you up here. He can't hit you. Even if he's on the same level as us, right now he is on the same level as us. But even if he is on that same level, he can't hit you with that destroy bomb. Something goes wrong and it's a beautiful thing. The destroy laser, by the way, or it, it just fires at one specific point. So if you can side roll or back roll or just evade it when it fires, you're doing fine. But even if you can't, just hold the Z button and take the hit. It doesn't take that much battery power out of your katana. I should stop saying battery power, it's not it's not battery power. Sharpness I'll call it from now on hopefully. But as you can see, it's flying towards us. We're not having to wait a very long time. And as you can see there, that destroy bomb, it didn't get off that platform. So this is actually quite an easy fight. A lot of people struggle with this one because they have to take on two guys at once. And I totally understand that. It is difficult from that perspective. And sometimes you just don't know what to do. However, if you follow this tactic, it will be over a lot quicker. Just make sure you hide when they both do that double laser vortex attack. Make sure you dodge all of the melee attacks. You can take the lasers, you can take the destroy bombs. They don't take too much damage. But as long as you avoid all of Destroy Man 1's uh, melee attacks and then use this tactic at the end, you will be fine. You can use Sonic Sword, but it only works when you're on the same level. So when he's on that rafter over there, that's the only way you can use uh, Sonic Sword. You can't, you, it doesn't go down, it's not a homing attack. But make sure that he does not drop that fist. If he drops that fist, destroy, the other Destroy Man will be revived and he will come back with a thing to health. So unfortunately, you have to kill him again. And as much pleasure as, you, pleasure as you think it would give you killing Destroy Man over and over and over again, that, oh, it, it's just a pain in the ass. He really is such an annoying character. What I do like though, I, I'm hoping Suda51 went for this angle, but you'll notice that one of the Destroy Men was actually kind of nice. He was kind of, um, you know, calm. I wouldn't say nice, they were both a bit of a douche, but rather calm, whilst the other was a bit of a psychopath. I kind of like that, because you've got to imagine being sliced in half, they both have half a brain. So I'm imagining, I'm thinking maybe split personality, maybe the aggressive douchebag side and the calm yet slightly evil side have kind of split. So it's kind of like two personalities. I'm hoping that's what Studio 51 went for, because it would, have been, it would be awesome if that happened. But anyway, with one square of health left, oh my god, he's going to revive him. Be quick! Oh no, he's got the reviving! Slice in half! Destroy Man 1, uh, Destroy Man 2 is dead, but Destroy Man 1 is back from the grave, so we have to kill him! This is the third Destroy Man, and he's got the shock! Can he pull it out of the bag here? Of course he can't! Shinobu is all over him! Get your slashes in, girl! We need to end this roundabout now! That's the sweeping attack, by the way. If you see him lift, just get your side uh, roll on and you'll be fine. Killing Shinobu, let's end this right now. Side slash for the win. We got ourselves a cutscene. Farewell, destroy douchebag. Never will we see your crotch again.
really blows. I can't believe I fell for that. Thank God for that. That's how I want to die, by the way, by having a very pretty girl stuff a, a katana in my brain and then she just spins around on it. That's how I'd like to die, believe me. But that's far too morbid. We should be celebrating because Travis Touchdown is now rank 8. But first, we need to go save, don't we? So Shinobu, hop in shower, love. Get that blood off your skin. It's, it's far too what filthy. My, my viewers, by the way, do love it. The viewers do love the save screen. Oh my, you gotta love it. <laughs> I sound like such a bad guy. But hey, you cannot deny the beauty which is Shinobu Jacobs. You just can't. It would be ignorant of me. However, we do have another cutscene with our favourite Travis Touchdown included. Let's enjoy this one. And that's how I took them out. Destroy Man came back? Huh, didn't see that coming. He was an annoying prick, though. I'm glad he's dead. Again. I can kill more fighters for you. Whatever my master wants. Hmm? Master. Oh. Ah! Oh, oh. <sighs> Pesky little cub. You can't kill me. Eat this. Must be having a nightmare. Hey, over here. Huh? I can't. I feel like that pervy teacher in a porn. Yeah. Wait. Hmm? Something wrong? Nah, it's nothing. The next sucker's all mine. You gotta feel for Shinobu. All she wants to do is be loved. It's a shame, really. However, Henry, still being the troll, still being the douchebag that he is, just ruined a very beautiful moment. God damn you, Henry. You're so cool, but you're so bad to us. God, we would have loved that kiss. Anyway, I'm skipping mini game madness. We're going straight to another ranking battle next time on Let's Play No More Heroes 2 Desperate Struggle. See you later, guys.